Hi, thanks a lot. Good to be here. Back in Canada, what a beautiful country this is. <laughs> oh boy, I don't live here anymore. I moved to LA. What a miserable place that is. I moved from my apartment, so I went to Ikea. What the hell is wrong with that place? How do you get out of it? Jesus. I was there for five and a half hours. I ended up buying two things. And that is how they screw you. And they do nothing for you there in that place either. They make you put it together yourself. Here, take this bundle of wood. Get out, you're on your own. Put it together with this small piece of metal that you've never seen before. It only fits in our furniture. We got it off a guy in China. It's a horrible place. I bought those two things. I put them together myself. The directions are garbage. There's no words, it's diagrams. And the guy never saw the thing you're supposed to make. Horrible crap. I now have a bed that folds into a bookcase. So I leave the place and I'm all furious. I look on a telephone pole, there's a lost pet sign. Funniest thing I ever saw. Lost bird. <laughs> what the hell was the guy thinking? Like he had a chance or something? I felt like calling him. Yeah, I saw your bird. I almost caught him, but then he flew away. It's bird. You moron. Answers to the name Cookie. Sure he does. Hey, Cookie, don't fly away. Up yours, I'm a bird and I'm free. Oh, my head hurts, I'm falling apart. My eye is killing me too. You got the glasses, huh? I got the contact lenses. What a useless product that is. Put the glass in your eye, it won't hurt. Lousy optometrist, he pawned these off on me. He wears glasses, that prick. I have an astigmatism, do you have that? What a useless thing that is. It's when your eye grows screwy so you can't see. My optometrist said it comes from years of doing stand-up, staring into the light. Said he could fix it with laser surgery. Said, what are you gonna do? He said, I'm gonna shine this light in your eye. That's when I ran out of that place. I know a scam when I hear it. So I got the miserable lenses. How many people wear contacts? Clap, I can't see it. I got the disposable lenses. You throw them out every couple of weeks, but I push it because I'm cheap. See, we all do. I got the gas permeable lenses. Yeah, I fell for that crap. My optometrist said, that way my eyes can breathe. Oh yeah, my eyes often breathe. I should leave my mouth closed and keep my eyes open and see how long I stay alive. Horrible lenses, they're awful, huh? You gotta put them in all the time. You ever talking to someone and one of them starts moving around in your eye? Jesus, I don't hear a word the guy says. He's talking, I'm having my own conversation in my own head. Oh my God, I got a lazy eye or something. I'm a freak, I can see nine people at the same time. Sometimes I put my lens in inside out, I can see right inside my head. Other than that, everything's okay, I guess. Took my jeans out of the dryer too soon today. You ever do that? You feel them, they're a little damp. You're like, oh, screw it, I'll wear them anyway. 
They'll dry on me, no one will notice. Five minutes later, ah, 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 ah. People point, that man has a yeast infection. I don't even know what a yeast infection is. I saw it on the TV and it startled me. I figure I'd work it into my act somehow. I'm getting older too. It's weird to get older, isn't it? You get older and you don't know what to do. Do you go to the gym at all? Yeah, me too. What a miserable place that is, huh? I don't know how those machines work. There's one where you sit in a chair and you pull your arms in front of your face. That hurts my ear. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I don't know. But I'm not going to ask those trainers walking around. Have you seen them with their arms out here? How do they wipe their ass? Jesus. Probably with little guys like me. It's a weird place to go to the gym, isn't it? The men's locker room, what a disgusting place that is. Women have no clue. Just filled with naked 95-year-old men. Just walking around totally nude, nowhere near the shower. Just nude and loitering. When I'm nude, I move fast. I'm looking for my clothes. These guys just walking around all proud. You gotta look at them. They're like, someday this can all be yours. <laughs> men's locker room's awkward for guys, isn't it? Never sit on the bench in the men's locker room. These old nude guys, they feel the need to come over and talk to you. I had one guy come over, he put his leg right up on the bench. <laughs> What's directly in my field of vision? Just hanging there like a Chinese lantern. <laughs> Great, he's nude and he wants to chat. Not about anything in particular either. He's like, hot enough for you? Oh yeah, it's pretty warm. Maybe if you moved your figs out of my face, I could catch a breeze. But he doesn't know what I'm thinking because he can't read my mind. So he turns around and he walks away and he farted ever so quietly. An old man little <laughs> And he was old so he didn't know he did it. And it was right at my head level. And I'm wearing the gas permeable lenses. <laughs> 